care about. And we have made, we have waited for more than those weeks. Now that the result is outside, what is what is our what is our stand with him? We need to know that, and we need to know okay. what, like, what okay, are the mommy. You said you want to say something. I Okay, mommy, what I will what I will say to what my response to what you have just said is um I see maintain the status quo that we there is nobody who had made any move to contact him as of now. And all we have just been saying is based on assumption. And if these are people's thoughts, then What has happened so far, and let him now come up. And, um, I mean, let him now come up, and let us now see his responses. That is the more reason why Baba need to contact Berkete or whoever that is. They need to contact him. I, I expected them to have, you know, to have let him know. Or to ask him what is the way for since we have had the results now as at Wednesday. Today is Saturday and nobody we are not hearing anything from him. Is there anything that is going on that we don't know? They don't want to talk, they don't they don't want to tell to the public. That is a question that me I'm uh, is a clause there for me. And if if there are some things that is being is being hidden into the public, the public is not is, is they don't want us to know. Uh, what is the way forward? How do we move forward from there? We are talking about the, the, yeah, go on. Okay, go on. Go on. We are talking about this uh, pathology or toxicology of our own, the private one. Is this is this still, can we still get the actual result we are looking for? Can it, can we still do it? So I don't know. Just just, just as we are deliberating now, hope we are going to know which way forward so that we can move on from there. I I must confess, people are getting a little bit tired. The way things are the way things are going on. And there are some people that we don't even need. We don't. We don't need them around this Baba. We don't need them. We don't need them so that there should be a positive result. Just <sighs> one. Okay, mommy. Mo, so before you came here, we've been talking about uh, coming came up with a very brilliant idea of just leaving the autopsy out and just focusing on how we get justice uh, without that area. And so that's what we're deliberating. And I really want us to really pick our brains you know, on those areas, like how do we get those people to book? Or can I ask this question? How do we compel the police to open an investigation or the court, the coroner inquest, to invite the people in the house to start answering questions as to what killed this boy based off of a post-mortem inconclusive status quo that is supposedly going to work in our favor? Comrade Mose, take over. Uh, thank you for, for very much for that question. I think uh, there is room. <clears throat> I'm not a lawyer, though, but I think there is there, there are rooms in every law where you don't have where you have an insatisfied report. There is room in every law to set aside an insatisfied law, uh, report. And launch a fresh investigation, and this is what I was I was having in my opinion that it is either we request from the court to conduct a fresh investigation, revisit the police investigation completely, or we petition the Inspector General of Police to set up a new investigative team to go and conduct that investigation all over again. And to my best uh, knowledge and understanding, the recommendation of a, 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 a new investigative team entirely might land us somewhere better than where we are today. Like, if we are demanding for a new investigative team, police investigator, probably we might now appeal to the police or the courts to accept one of our private investigators to be part of their team to conduct that fresh investigation. That is my own, uh, that is my own thought. And take a look at it. I want to, I want to say something. They said there is no CCTV camera in that house. But some people said there are CCTV cameras. 
that police read that they said the CCTV camera is not does not have a, a DVB, DVB, but there are skeletal installation of CCTV camera, CCTV in that house. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, if a fresh investigation has to be done, you you see. Sure. With, I, I, there are some things I don't want to say here, but there are no time. On that CCTV, believe you me, we will know the company that that is, because there are products. There are products. There are of particular products. So if a complete investigation is carried out on that CCTV, believe you me, we'll get the company that installed that CCTV. And then we'll be able to unravel the mystery surrounding that CCTV camera uh, in the house. So those are the those are the those are the uh, uh, those are the areas that the police has left untouched when they conducted their investigation. Which I felt by the time they set up a new team, and we now appeal to them to include our private investigator among them, a lot of things will be unraveled. That's my take on that. Okay, who else wants to talk about talk on that? If the comrade has just opened the good insightful area, who wants to talk on that? Man, no be God, or mommy, Aniki Shire, or EPI, anybody just come to speak up and talk. We're just having an interactive brainstorming session. Okay, good yeah, afternoon. Thank you, and Okay, somebody wants to talk. Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to make a little contribution regarding what um, comrades said. Um, the CCTV. Uh, camera, if they are able to get the pack or the serial number, even without getting the whole, you know, device, they can still, you know, do something with that. And beside that, I believe we should also try as much as possible to, I don't know if it will be possible to maybe get a court order so that they can uh, get the like um voice you know um calls from the black widow during that period if that is possible i'm not sure so so that they can know the conversation if it has anything to do with what happened to mobad so that's another area i'm you know looking into i don't know if the court will grant that request because uh, to me i'm looking at it as if maybe it will be as invading someone's privacy or something like that but in this case i believe it depends on the reason for demanding for such so if court grant them that you know permission then they can you know reach out to telecommunication then at least through that we can also check that area because we need to assess and check every area so um, the CCTV, then the phone call analysis, and also the um, autopsy. I don't think it's too late. The um, uh, Timothy case, I think Timothy spent about 11 days before he was found and exhumed. And mobile, uh, mobile spent only nine days. So, and there are some um, like discovery documentary that I've watched that someone was eliminated and they put him in a car, then they set the car ablaze in order to cover their tracks. They were able to do the autopsy. It's not a movie, it's a reality program. And they were able to get exact, you know, uh, the people that are responsible, how they eliminated him before they, you know, set him ablaze. So, I don't think it's difficult if they really want to work but the problem we're having is not even the anti-justice group is the so-called justice group because there are some people i don't understand them for instance i told someone that we the justice seeker we need to at least be like five times ahead of these people because we know the people we are dealing with so the autopsy for instance we ought to have you know already made all these requests from the court when those people are doing their own so that it will be going on simultaneously so that by the time they are bringing out their result we will also be presenting our result but now they are just requesting from the court now and these court people they are part of this system they can you know 
uh, delay it for another like two months before they grant them this uh, request. So we need to really, I mean, work if we want to work with the justice seeker. And the people that are around Baba, they are not really doing well enough. That's just the honest truth. We need, if we really want to get justice, we need to be serious. A lot of people are getting discouraged already. A lot of people that are part of the justice team, they are saying, hey, Baba, you just go and lay the boy to rest because they are not seeing hope. They are not even seeing as if this thing is going to have a headway because of the way things are. Immediately after the corona inquest, that result brought down morale of a lot of people because they know that all what they said was lie. For instance, they said there was, there, there was no blood in the casket when Mubad was assumed. And that's a, a total lie. I I know someone that was there that very day in the Kurodu. The guy is still alive. So there were blood there. It's not uh, mud water or whatever they are trying to say. It's blood. So it shows that these people are trying as much as possible to cover because they are part of, I keep saying it without mincing word, the authority of this country is part of what happened the people responsible are part of the people working for them that's why they are trying as much as possible to cover this that's just the reality so and before we can expose them or nail them we need a very tangible evidence that even it will be glaring to the whole world that they don't they won't even have any choice than just to admit so beside that i'm afraid i don't think we can get justice without making sure we get evidence by every means possible. So that's just my little contribution. Thank you. Okay, thank you, EPI. So I just want to uh, recap. So basically you're saying that the way to get in this justice is the autopsy, the uh, data forensics, correct? Yeah. And we yeah. have to have a strong evidence to nail them. Okay, that is brilliant. Yes. Um, Juices, you have something to say. Mommy, I think I'll come to you. Let's just get the new people on. Juices, do you have anything to say? Yes. Yeah, I'm, uh, really, I'm just coming in. Okay. I don't know that, that's what, that's what yeah, EPI said. I wanted to ask him, like, uh, for how long was uh, Rotimi, uh, I mean, this Rotimi guy of a thing, for how long was it take to, uh, to get his body where he was buried? Um, Timothy was murdered, um, I think, November 7, 2021. So then they dumped the corpse uh, under a bridge. So they later discovered the corpse on the 11th. It was more than on the 7th. So they discovered the corpse, I think, on the 11th or so. So it was, you see, on the, on the 18th, right? sorry. So it was 11 days before they, they found the corpse. And it wasn't... You thank know, you, thank you, know, you sir. That's what I want to really uh -huh. point out there because it, it, the body was not even kept where, as in, was not buried in, in a coffin. Exactly. So they just buried yeah. it shallow, and he was exposed yeah. to for you to know that he was exposed to all those tarmac and everything. As in, and was in it was him also. So it's something that they they, 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 don't, they don't even have excuse. We have it, at it least it the it, uh, you can go ahead. So that's okay. just the point. That's, I just want to, to like you should correct me on that part. And if a body could be like that, like they, they just throw that body like that, there was no case, there was no it will just be exposed to the sun to everything for, for over three weeks and they can still get the results. How much more bad body that was exposed uh, that, that was kept in, in, in a cough and was taken again. So we should we should just know that I want to I mean talk concerning what Camera said. We should, we should be aware that this body is good enough for the autopsy. They just did what they did. The result is false. It's not it's not the truth result of what actually happened to that guy. Okay, Justice, I have a question here as to you and EPI and maybe comrade. Somebody has just mentioned here, he says, Mobat's body was not properly preserved until Brekete voiced it out. Now, if you do the maths, this man voiced it out, I think when? Was it March or February? Was when he mentioned it. So that's about what? Um, five months? What do you guys have to say on that? Yeah, what I want to say on that is that I, I want to talk according to the reports given to us, the results. And according to... I think just as I think I'm so sorry, please. No, no, right. And according to the results, they never said they just did the autopsy. They said it was after Mobile Body was 
I mean, assume after two days or three days that they bought the bottle to them. Are you getting it? And if it's that time, calculate uh, seven plus uh, the three days. It's not yet three weeks. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? They didn't say that they just uh, I mean, they, they 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 just brought the bottle to them after when Brekete spoke. They claim the bottle has been brought to them even before then. <laughs> This is let's now let somebody else speak since you're, you're a little bit distracted. Okay, um, Mommy and Nikki Shire, do you want to talk about that? Sorry, can I can I speak? Test, test, hold on, hold on a sec. Mommy and Nikki Shire, you want to talk about that? Okay, I think she's busy. Okay, Chess, go on. But can you start from where you know that comment where somebody has just said because I found that funny and I just thought okay. No, sorry, I, I've yeah. got my own, I've got my own comment to make. Okay, I don't okay, okay, wait, okay. Hold on. Okay, if you have your comment to make, just hold on because I'm trying to. We're just we have a line of thought. We're trying to you know finish up wrap up here. Um, comrade, what do you have to say to that? Ah uh, well, uh, you know, this is my problem in the society. My my discretion is always uh, <laughs> a little bit different and. You know, uh, uh, sometimes uh, it creates uh, maybe a crisis. Uh, as regards Timothy, I have made my position as regards the autopsy, right? Yeah, so yeah. Somebody, somebody came yeah, now. Have. Somebody came now and and did a comparison, comparison, right? Now I will pick something out of the comparison, and this is what I will pick out. Timothy body was dumped somewhere and it was exposed to sorry it was dumped somewhere but in the case of mobad mobad body was buried under net we cannot compare the same atmospheric condition and the factor that will happen to that body Mr. Moses, Timothy's body also was buried without anything okay, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, it was buried it was, yeah, yeah, it was buried, it, not even now without posting, without anything, it was buried straight in the ground. Okay, Auntie, Auntie you, you said, uh, there, is, there was something I said in my, in my discussion. And that thing that I said was that the government was coming with a, a card. And to me, the, the card they brought was a failed card. Now, if you are claiming that the position at which they said the body was is not true. Then I will regard that as part of the card they are coming to play to us. So, that is just it. Okay. okay. Oh, thank you, Mr. Moses. That, that is what we are just trying to like. Okay, hold on. Like, that is what I was just trying to say, that it is not because the body was buried or the body was not uh, properly uh, embalmed or something. It was because that is the card they want to play for us. That, 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 seen, that was part of we've the We've seen a case now. We've seen a case of somebody being buried without cover, without anything. In, also in ground for three weeks. And yeah. somebody that is buried inside cuffs for just a week. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. And, and, Sorry, say, and that was why that was why in our discussion before you came, we made mention that there is a need for outright investigation from our side, from an expert. Come and ascertain what these people are saying. Is it true? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Come and unravel their card for us. Let us see it white and black. You understand? So, for me, I will regard that as part of their card they brought to play for us. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, Pat Ked, I think you were here before Chessman, correct? Yeah. Okay, Pat Ked, go on. After you, Chessman can talk. Greetings to everyone. Um, no, number one, we cannot uh, compare Timothy and uh, Mubad. Reason is this. Timothy's condition was even worse than that of uh, Mubad. Reason is this. Timothy was uh, shabbily buried. That's skin direct to the soil. No coffee, nothing. Then, when it's like that, the body can easily decompose on time because it's having direct skin to the soil. Why in the case of Mubad? Yes, we the, the atmosphere also matters, but uh, it's almost the same thing. But uh, the case of Mobad, one, is, uh, is embalmed, 
why Moses is not, and uh, Mobad uh, spent a uh, few days, why Moses, uh, uh, Timothy spent more days, and uh, Mobad has a uh, coffee. And in the coffee, in the coffee, it's not that easy to decompose on time, like that of the direct, um, uh, uh, direct to soil, okay? It's not, it's not. So, what is playing out here is this. Those behind Mubat's uh, matter, as I upper hand that those behind uh, Timothy's matter, that is on, on another side. Now, to unravel this whole thing, the game changer here is this. Uh, data forensic would have uh, made it perfect, would have been the game changer. I think uh, one of the things the team should be doing now is to be pressing for the uh, for data forensic. That will expose a lot of things that we did not even know about. And that will expose the date in which uh, Moba died. It will expose those who are involved in this. I think that is what we should be pushing now. But I can tell you this, that uh, not that the police or other agency are not uh, involved in this matter, do not know the right thing to do. But because of the power that be, do not want this to happen. So, what do we do? Because if you see the whole thing, the way it's being played out, they want to silence Baba's voice. At every given point, they want to silence his voice. Why? Because they know he's his son and he has every right to demand for justice. So what do they do? Anytime he comes out, they try to suppress him. If not for we, the public, who are seriously pushing hard, they would have silenced him. So what do we do now as a people, as a team? What do we do? How do we support? Is to keep pushing. Now, what we should be talking about now is data forensic. I think if that could pull through, I tell you the truth, everything we expose. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, Chessman, you want to speak now? Yeah, uh, let me just start with uh, Pet Keg, okay? You see the data forensic you're talking about. They are on it. They're actually on it. We shouldn't be talking about this. They, they know. The more we give this information out, you know, they know. They know. I'm sure they know. Let me now come back to the, uh, the, the, the comment from EPI the other time. Uh, he made the point that people are getting frustrated. They're getting tired because of the, uh, the, the result from, from the um, corona inquest on Wednesday. Let me just put on record, I mean, categorically and emphatically, okay? The, the unascertained result, it's not a bad result. I made this point a couple of nights ago on this platform. It's not a bad result. What that means is, we've tried, we couldn't get it. Up to you. Now, the focus will now shift to the house. Don't forget that one of the factors that the corona needs to, to, to consider to actually determine the, the cause of death is the medical report. That is done now, okay, because that is inconclusive. Now the focus will now shift to the people. The house where he died, the people were with Mobad when he died. And you know what? Wumi or whatever they call her already shot us for 70 foot. She came out to say, I know, but I'm not gonna say. So the next thing now is for the, the, the legal team to apply to bring her back to the corona inquest and say, on the day like on so so and so date, you made the point that you know what happened to your husband, but you're not gonna talk. What do you know? That's where we should, the focus is not to the house. So, so if the anti justice think they won, as a matter of fact, it was a bad result for them. A very bad result for them. So, people should not get discouraged. It's just the beginning. And nothing good comes easy. And Comrade Mose, I have to salute you. I have to say thank you to you, your efforts. I, I, I know you're a brilliant guy. You know, you went all the way from Abuja to Lagos. I, I'm, I'm sure you're back at Abuja now. The way you speak, the way you analyze, your intelligence, your brilliance, Comrade Mose, I give it up to you. So that's my comment for now. Okay, that's great. That's also, yeah, that's a brilliant submission and comment. Mostly took us there. I'd never even thought about that perspective. So it's good. And we need to keep, you know, hounding it and saying it over and over again. Let's not get tired of repeating and re repeating because some of us are at different intellectual level. That being said, um, somebody else can, who wants to speak now? Uh, is it man no be God? Yeah. Do you want to say something? Hello? Hello. 
Can okay. I say something? Yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on. Okay. What I wanted to say the other time, I think Chessman said part of it, I said a lot about it, because when a comrade spoke about being, a, you know, writing application for us to start afresh, and if we are if we are starting afresh, it's, it's going to involve all the people in the house that was with mobile during the 72 hours or 24 hours before you buy. So if the, they are going to grant us the application, it will be so good. And I hope the, the local team are going to work and they're going to press much further on that for, so that the application will be granted and we can start inviting these people one after the other so that they can come and tell us what happened to mobile. That's all. Hi. Let me just say something about uh, Madam Princess and Rochess. Oh, sure, sure. Go ahead. Uh, you see, you see. Thank you very much, Mr. Chess, for your for your recap, your contribution, and then Madam Princess for your thoughts, line of thoughts. You see, let me be sincere with you. We won this case already. Believe you me. If you can get into the analysis properly and take a look at the submission of the deceased wife in court, the submission of Adura, the submission of uh, uh, Dijibami. It's only Darusha we've not had the submission. But if you can do a proper comparison of the co submission of the three of them already, the submission of the three of them, Perfectly. You will see that, look, it is not until when somebody says, I'm the one that killed another person, before the court you guilty. There are a lot of factors that the court will, will consider. And those factors are already time on their leg. In most of their cross-examination in court, they've already roped yourself. They've already roped yourself. They've already put yourself in problem. For real. And even the mother. Are you getting what I'm saying? But we need to substantiate those efforts and those facts by going back to the investigation. Like just my uh, mommy have just mentioned. You understand? The, the only disadvantage we have is Corona is not a court where you can argue. But when you get to the high court, the deceased father's lawyer stand a chance to contest and argue his point to the point of winning, you know? So, uh, that is just it, you know, to, to, recap, to, to cap up what uh, Chessman have just said. Wait, Juices, are you there? Hello, Juices, are you there? Hello, honey, I'm here. Hey, go on, make your point. Ah, I've forgotten. Oh, please, when I remember later. Thank you. Right, um, comrade. I think you see the thing is, I love the fact that we're exploring these areas and you know we're getting ourselves to think and we're bringing some sort of, if you want to say, we're being a beam of hope. It's really good. It's really, really good. And I think why I love the fact that we're talking about this is that we're hoping the legal team, the PI, because if, if because we don't know the PI, maybe they are also listening to us and they're looking at these areas. So let's all know that most of the ideas we're sharing here, it doesn't just go unnoticed. They pick up on it. They hear it. They might not come out and say, okay, you know, we've heard this, but I think they'll pick up on those, uh, you know, on those areas. And and that's what it is. Now, I, I also want to come from a different angle now. Um, I, because I, I'm reading the comments section, not to go for us to attack, but for us to pick a point and brainstorm on it. Now, there's this narrative, because somebody here just wrote and said, oh, Baba was saying that this guy, the body was stabbed, uh, the lacerations, he was stabbed. And that uh, Tom printed, they, you know, they just come up with different funny, you know, narratives that don't make sense. How do we, okay, not say how, what's our thought on this? on these false narratives that this anti-justice, because I don't want to call them another team, anti-justice are spreading. How do we attack that? How do we how do we address these narratives? How do we deal with that? And, and if you if you understand where I'm coming from, I'm coming from the media perspective. Let's just brainstorm. What do you guys think of that? Can I, can I make a point on that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My own opinion, we need to make a scapegoat. Okay? Um, I'll tell you what. Arifa and Veron, okay, were arrested for this kind of thing, you know. 
I'm not saying they are guilty, okay, but they were arrested and being punished for this kind of thing. Now, a couple of days ago, when we came out, through, through Zara reporters, to actually put out there that um, Baba did this, Baba did that, uh, he buried his son quickly, and that's why the, the medical report came back inconclusive. That is defamation. That is actually libel. So under defamation, we've got slander, we've got libel. When it comes to a written publication, that is libel. That is a blatant breach of legislation. She should be petitioned. She should be petitioned. No two ways about it, no doubt about it. You need to do that. When Bosadi came out to say, Baba sent people to, to stab Mubad, okay, that is slander. The video is there. She needs to be petitioned. Bring her in. When? How? How? How did he go stab? Who sent? Where? Where did you see that? So we need to make a scapegoat. Now, look at the social media now. No Arifa. No Westo. No um, Westo is going to hibernation. No Veron. Why? Because, you know, because they, they, they're, they're making a scapegoat out of us. We should do the same thing. Although, when we do that, that, that shouldn't detract or, or distract us from the main cause of why we did justice for mobile. But we should do that. If we don't do it, that narrative against Baba, we keep... We keep going on and going. Baba is a good man, okay? Wants to get a little otherwise. He, that, that man should be in depression by now. Everything they're saying about him, he went upstairs to, to steal gold. Uh, he buried his son early. When he was not even there. We should make a scapegoat. Petition with me. Petition Zara reporters. Petition Mama Mubad. Bring out evidence where, where Baba said people should stab whatever. So I think, that, in my opinion, that's what we should do. Thank you, Chessman. Uh, Pet Kedge, what do you want to say to that? I'm just trying for us to go to a different angle now of the media. Let's look at that area. I think to, to me, my opinion is this. The CTC has said it all. And uh, I think we need to start using that to, to sanitize the people. The, the account of, um, of Wumi and um, uh, DJ Bami, and uh, in the account of Wumi, Wumi said that um, uh, uh, DJ Bami uh, witnessed everything that happened. In fact, there are some, according to Wumi, there are some certain things said that DJ Bami knows than Wumi herself. You know, she is always uh, removing herself from every important scene, you know. And the account of uh, DJ Bami said that uh, they, 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 they asked her, and she said, the bedsheet was soaked with blood. So how come a bedsheet soaked with blood if there is no stabbing? So issue of, uh, and again, uh, Mama Mubar said he's trying to testify, but using another way to say it that, yes, Mubad was stabbed. So if that happened, what do we do? Yes, I concur with uh, Chessman what he said that we need to use some people as scapegoats. Good, it's, it's good. But we need to take a step further. What is the step further? We need to now invite these people, especially uh, Mama Mubad and Wumi. I, um, I petition them, bring them in so they can come and uh, elaborate more on, on what they were saying. Most especially the Sarah stuff, we may need to come out to say more about it. In doing that, more things will be exposed. I think uh, this is some of the way I feel we should go about. Okay, thank you for that. Um, who else wants to speak? Just oh, sorry, sorry, quickly, on, sorry, on, sorry, on, please. Go on, of course. Sorry, the, the, uh, Pet Kate made, made mention of something just now. The the, the blanket that was soaked in, in, with blood. Okay, now. Most of the people that gave evidence at the corona inquest said uh, they saw a blanket with blood, okay? The only uh, difference is the, the, the quantity of blood, okay? Now, when I said the other time that the focus now shift to the house, when the medical report came as a stalemate, okay, that blanket now, where is it? If anyone has washed that blanket, they're in trouble because you've tampered with evidence. So I just remembered now. So we may confirm there was blood. Um, Adura, I think so. DJ Bami, I think so. But... The, the quantity of blood. Now, if we now shift our focus to the house now, to say we want to investigate properly, where is that blanket? Now, we're not talking about the quantity of blood now, okay? That blanket with the stain of blood, where is it? If they cannot provide it, that is another allegation, another another offense, because what it is, it means they have tampered with evidence. Thank you. Thank you for that.
that who else wants sorry to let me uh, sorry let me add something to if no, you I'm have not. the ctc here read the account of uh, dj bami you will see that she attests to it that yes they even ask her are you saying the the, uh, the, the best she was so good? she said yes it was so good. you can read it for other people who think uh, maybe what i'm saying is uh, not true in, in that case read. in that no, case no, no, the, we believe the, that the, the case is one the case is one forget yeah. the case is one forget it uh-huh uh-huh and that's true and, and anybody and they see the thing for me is it's very shocking that you know you have some people from an uh, from an anti-justice perspective that throw this false narrative you know and they don't have a copy of what was said on citizen everybody can say anything i can say anything on tiktok you anybody can you will miss him you can say anything on tiktok as far as the case in question is concerned what is valid is the ctc is their accounts they give either to the police or, to, or in court that is what that is. That is that word of mouth that is valid. It's not or oh, what you think somebody said. Although what the suspects or the people who are in persons of interest have said outside or inside of court can be called on to you know can be used as evidence or used to question things. But let's not throw. Let's not go on with a false narrative. I'm making this uh, submission to uh, you know the anti-justice team because you have things like oh Baba Mobad said. M Mobad was stabbed. Baba Mobad has never said that. Okay? And that is why I chest my I, I am of the opinion that until we take a very offensive approach to this jibes and stories that are going, it's just going to keep on continuing. And for how long? When a lie is told consistently, it is sometimes seen as a truth. Anyway, I'll let somebody go on for now. Um, comrade, what have you got to say? Well, <laughs> you see, the case is very interesting. Very, very interesting. And for the intellectual, reasonability, comparison, and evaluating the factors, Chessman has just made the pronunciation. Look, we won the case already, but let me tell you the facts. You can have a good case, and you can have a poor team, poor strategy, poor dimension, uh, uh, implementation and that is exactly the problem we are having the strategy is poor the implementations are poor the, the, the logics are no are no nothing to write about and the team as well probably they are trying their best you understand but if you look at the case critically from a critical angle I bet it with you. We won the case outright. But it's not left for us to do our own work. Work at that. Do the right thing at the right time. And get the right people, you know, to do the job. You see, it's, it's been last year that we were saying the people advising Baba, they are, not, they are not fantastic. But some people would think maybe uh, it's due to personal interest. I've been in a meeting, critical meeting, where somebody was accusing me, maybe I want them to put me in the strategy team or probably the advisory team. And I said, it is not all about somebody being there or somebody being there. It is all about having the right people who can take the right advice at the right time. You understand? I will cite an example for you. When they say they went and invest, in, uh, they, they went and visit the body. I could remember I used to have interaction with Bosman then. Bosman asked the question. He said, "When you went to inspect the body, who went with you? Do you go with a pathologist or a medical doctor?" They could not answer that question. So how can you go and inspect a dead body in the mortuary? And there were no experts with you. That is a point of defeat already. You understand? So, what I've said, if you go back, I have all the CTC with me, and if you go back to those CTC, you will see a lot of loopholes, you will see a lot of shots in the leg, you will see, you, in fact, it, it, it's amazing, you understand? But, not until when the facts are substantiated, you don't have the rest of mind. And for us to have the rest of mind is the reason why we said, let us go back and substantiate the facts. And we mentioned the CCTV. 
And we said, look, if you sell a CCTV, if I want to trace the man, if I want to trace where you buy it, all I need to do is check the manufacturer and launch investigation into people who sell that product. I paid it with you. In that line of sight, you will get the company that sells that product. In fact, you will get with with serial number of some products. Test it to China. They will tell you the distributor that bought it from there. You know, those are the extent that I was looking at our work to go. You understand? So, like Chessman have said, we have a good case, but if we don't have a good strategy, a good uh, team, advisory, and taking the right decision at the, at the right time, we may lose the case. That is the fact. You know, but I saw a lot of people losing hope, even in the courts. Some people are almost crying. After the after the report, they are, ah, uh, uh, we lost. Uh, you know, I was it was it was painful. I, I was developing blood pressure. You understand? But I, I started thinking back as fast as possible to look at it that look, this is not the end of this case. This is not the end of this case. And I started recapping, recapping, and yeah, recapping. And I said that we are not loser yet, yet, until we declare ourselves loser. You know, so that is that is what I I saw in what uh, Chessman just said. Yeah, Comrade okay. Moses, Comrade Moses, yes. before you go, sorry, and 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 and, and sorry. Of course, and, of course, no, it's fine. Comrade, another angle to this is the nurse, the nurse. Okay, now if we bring out the nurse, okay, when did she attend the house? Who did she treat? Because listen, from all indications, okay, okay, from all indications, Muba died on Monday. Okay, but the nurse went there on Tuesday. What did she go there to do? Why are they preventing the nurse from speaking at the corona inquest? So if we put in an application now for the nurse to come and Darusha, bring out the nurse, that's another way to solve this problem. She knows the law. That nurse knows the law. Yes, yes, I agree. That's a very vital point. Because I have to, to add to that, Chess, without cutting you off, I heard, you know, somebody was analyzing that, you know, when they mentioned that pivotine or something like that. And a lady, I don't know, was it Mommy Aniki Shah that said that? I don't remember now. But she did mention, or somebody says that, you know, that drug or medication is also given to make somebody sleepy. So I now started thinking, could it be that they gave this guy that medication to weaken him? And very important, what state did that nurse meet more bad? And why has the corona not even, without us trying to fight to get other people on board, why is she not saying, the chief manager said, okay, let's get that nurse, come and explain, because I'm actually thinking that she should recommend for the nurse to come on board next uh, inquest while after the pathologist. See, see, the, the point is, for those guys to be able to bend Mubat's neck and his legs, that means, or that meant, he's gone through the stage of rigor motive. Okay, it's taking a long, long, so many hours that the guy died, and then the body now came back to normal, and that was why they were able to bend his neck. So there's nobody that, that can tell me that Mobile died on Tuesday, he was embalmed on Tuesday, Umi got a juju on Tuesday, she got um, they, they got the clothes he wore on Tuesday, they got the coffee on Tuesday, and it was no, it doesn't work like that. They took that extra one day to plan. He died on Monday, and Adura made a point. He said, no one can say they saw or spoke to Mubad after 12 on Monday. Yes, what he said that. that. He yes, yes. said that. He died on Monday. He said which, that, yes. Which, which is on its own is a crime. Because he died on Monday, you did not report to anybody on Monday. That alone is a crime. And that was why I was expecting the, the, the medical report to come and say he died on Monday, but they did what they did, that's fine. He died on Monday. So if we bring out the nurse, she needs to tell us who she attended to. Was it a dead body? Was it a live body? Who was it? What did you give him? So that's another way we can do it, but the nurse is a clue. Okay, that's, that's taken on. But I'm pleased for anybody in the legal team. I hope you people are listening. Yes, because I really strongly think, well, just as Comrade and every other person say, we need to be born in on all cylinders now. Born on four cylinders. Every point to explore. The, what I understand from what Comrade has said is, and you have said, Chessman, is the fact that because this result is inconclusive, it opens up to other areas of exploration as to unravel the cost of death am i correct about that yeah okay bio what have you what have you got to say on this yeah, I, i've got i've got the same opinion and uh, we need to understand that the nigerian police is not helping you understand 
I mean, uh, I heard uh, Chessman saying something about um, that the, the case is, is not won yet, but you know, uh, that Baba Legal team will be able to put these people up for cross examination at the uh, criminal court. I mean, if the charge sheet does not include Umi's name, what are we going to do? If the court sheet does not, does not include Umi's name, she'll be standing as a witness. And what if the prosecuting team, Lagos State, are not allowing Baba Legal team to be part of the prosecuting team? What can we do? We already know we are fighting a case against okay, fire, police fire, fire, government. Fire, hold on, hold yes. on. What we, because I like to ask, I like to stick within a certain frame and then before we digress. We're talking about the nurse saying that, you know, getting her to be invited. And as far as you and I know, she's part of the, she's the principal suspect according to the police. So do you want to talk on that first before you go to the Wumi bit? Okay, yeah, okay, now, uh, there's an application that was submitted. Uh, previously, before, you know, there was this uh, application for spending Prime Boy and the and, uh, Darusha to come. You understand? Now, there's now an, a new fresh application that is asking uh, the, the nurse to come. So the application has not been accepted and has not been treated. So, I mean, it's only when it's accepted that they will allow uh, the nurse to come. But I'm, I'm surprised that the police did not in any way put the nurse in as part of people that have to come to the inquest to talk from the beginning. Why would they take her out? Why would they take the driver of the Prado out? So that is where the conspiracy started. Let me, why, would let they, why, why should we be begging them at this time to come and talk? Why should we be begging uh, the woman to come and talk now? The nurse that is supposed to be the first person to come and speak. Why are we begging the Corona court to allow her to come and speak now? By your, Why? That is a conspiracy. By your, you need to understand something, that uh, this case 